Okay, so we decide that f is the upper function. So we do um, integral of f minus g, which is this guy. Um, now, what we should do here is notice that this is a very simple integral, but this is not. Okay, so I will break them up. I'm going to break them up into two separate integrals. Um, the second one will require substitution. Okay, so I'll just scroll up and show you as much as I can here. Okay, pause and copy all this down. Pause and copy. Okay, then the rest of it is there. So pause and copy, and I will go through this step by step. Okay. So uh, as I said, you break it up into one, two integrals. The second one I do on the side as an indefinite integral. Um, okay, u is the inside function, blah, 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 blah. You get um, this thing oops, plus c at the end. So then I take this guy and it goes, where does it go? It went, it went up there to be plugged into my definite integral. Okay, then the rest is a kind of tedious calculation. Be careful with these, it's very easy to make a mistake. Okay, exercise. <clears throat> okay, so I want you to do this exercise. And uh, let's see, new video. No, nope, we'll just do it in this video. So pause and copy and then try it. And I'll do the solution right now. Okay, for one, I want to just draw a picture. See what's uh, what's happening here. Um, what do I want to say here? Well, <clears throat> if I draw this picture, well, I should try to find the intersection first. Um, set them equal. X plus three. Um, X cubed uh, minus four X equals zero. Factor of the X, you get X squared minus four, zero. So you get X is zero x is 2, but also x is minus 2. So I think what's happening, well, the question tells me that this integral here ends up being 0. OK, you can confirm that if you want. Um, what's going on here? Um, What's happening here is, uh, let's say, a picture. I'm not going to draw a accurate graph. So what's happening is you have uh, three intersection points. So it's going like, um, maybe like this. And my other curve is going like this. And um, 
which one is which doesn't really matter. Let's just write F and then we'll write G is the other one. What's happening is you have an area here and you have the exact same area. Oops, exact same area, also A. Same area, also A1. <clears throat> same area right there. So when you do this integral, f minus g dx, what you're going to get is um, a1 minus a1 is 0. Okay, so you're not going to get the area you want, which is a1 plus a1. So in part two, we'll do the, the integral more properly. Uh, let's draw a number line, minus two, zero, two. Now, what was F again? Oh boy. So F was X cubed minus three X plus three. G is x plus 3 minus 3 plus 3. OK. So f of 1 is negative 2 is 1. G of 1 is 4. f of negative 1 would be uh, 5 appears. G of negative one. G of negative one. Sorry, I'm mumbling to myself. G of negative one is two. Let me double check if of negative one. So what I'm doing here is test points. F of negative one is uh, negative one plus three is two plus three is five. Okie dokie. So we see from here that, that, that uh, G is bigger than F here, and F is bigger than G here. So the area, I have to do uh, minus 2 to 0, plus another integral from 0 to 2. Now, for minus 2 to 0, f is the upper function. So I do f minus g dx. And for 0 to 2, g is bigger than f. So I do that. Minus 2. And zero and what is f? F is x cubed minus three x plus three minus x plus three dx plus the second integral zero to two x plus three minus x cubed minus three x plus Three dx. Now, if you haven't done so already, go through these details. You should get, I think it's four plus four is equal to eight, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> 